when we signed off on Monday, we just had our first full day in New York City. Now it's Thursday night, our final few moments of consciousness before we have to leave the end. How are we feeling? Tired. Tired more But out. good, but fun. Yeah. We were kicking New York City's butt, and then tonight it kicked our ass. It's like, Wednesday yeah. night. It's when we start- can find the, the train. Uber, yeah. Uber drive. And then we had an Uber from Hale. Yeah. Yes. That even frightened me, who is very cult to gangsta- fright. And then tonight we couldn't get an Uber in the city because or a lift because there was or a curb or a anything. That was crazy. Yeah. New Yorkers are cranky. I got yelled <clears> at a few times today. We all got yelled you got at. Time out today. You got yelled at for calling. You didn't get yelled at. I was like, I was jaywalking and she was jaywalking and with the police <laughs> officer. I don't remember that. Huh? Just huh? a thing. Jaywalking. <laughs> walking naked. Naked as a jaybird. <laughs> <laughs> and you you did jump the turnstile a couple times uh, with the subway too because you didn't have your card with you. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna come get you. We figured out, out the door. Mm-hmm. There's a magic door. Yeah, yes, but yes. it wouldn't open tonight because the puppers was there. And they... Well, and some of them like set off an alarm when you hit it too. Oh, mm-hmm. really? Yeah. We must have just gotten lucky. Yeah. Yeah. But they were all doing that. All the local. Tuesday was the fabulous tea party. Oh, the, the tea, tea party. party. That's right. With our new friends, Grayson <laughs> and Grayson. Yeah. Ladies out there, if you come to the city, you've got to do the tea party. Tea party around town? Well, you do it if you can make it fun yourself. Because yeah. it might not be exactly what you're expecting, but we yeah. <laughs> just quickly... Yeah, it was fun. It was fun, yeah. I was we're fun and... We're a fun group. We made it fun. Yeah. We made it fun for everyone. I mean, it's a little a little pricey for what you get, I think. Oh, wow. Exactly. Because literally you're sitting pricey. on the top decker of a bus that drives you around two blocks for, in an hour and a half because that's about how long it takes to go around two full blocks in, <laughs> in Times Square. So, I mean, and then they give you some fancy little desserts from Costco. Some egg sandwiches that they might probably make on the bus. And they <laughs> serenade you the whole time. They do serenade you the whole time. Yeah. And the more champagne you have, the, the better they sound. We had one bottomless glass each. <laughs> yeah. What about everybody hustling? I feel like everybody has 14 jobs and no one sleeps in this town. Oh my goodness. Exactly. They have to to be able to They're so tired. It. Everyone's so tired. I mean, I know we're That's tired. That's probably but why they're cranky they're and so grumpy. Because yeah. yeah. they're just working their butts they're working. Without... Just be yourself and smile and you'll be fine. Yes. And you might even get a marriage proposal. <laughs> or two. Or two, or yes. Or a couple. <laughs> Or you might get threatened with a machete. Oh, goodness. Well, there was something that was not on the itinerary. Oh, there was. <laughs> yes, there was. Mm. That was fun. I think it was just meant to be that me and you were sitting right on the subway. Yes. Right in eyesight of this poster. Oh. And I looked at you and I went, Corey, look at that. <laughs> it's the Museum of Sex. Yes. What was the special exhibit that was, because that was what they were highlighting on the poster. It was like... Was Car- it a robot or Car- I- Carnival of Desires or something oh. weird? Yeah, because it was like a carnival theme. Yeah, that was yeah. the theme of all the things. Was so it was like an arcade carnival. arcade for eighteen plus for adults. <laughs> yes, plus. Mm-hmm. an adult arcade. Adult yeah, arcade. they had an adult bouncy house Booby made of boobs. Booby bouncies. <laughs> I was traumatized. I don't know about y'all. And that, yeah, I was a little traumatized. I still have the, the sculpture of the of the um, the real the, life man. No, the no the sculpture of the giant booty with the legs and feet uh, that was painted like a zebra. Yeah. Oh, at the end. Yes. Well, somebody enjoyed that. Somebody morning. enjoyed <laughs> all that <laughs> Oh, and then the bathroom stalls. Oh yeah, there was a glory hole game. That was awesome. It was like it was like. And, who was and the we winner? have a winner whack, at the whack, table. Whack a moles, or you know, with it was whack a moles, but grab a wiener. And Allison won. Yeah. She even, yeah. she even beat me. She made us all proud. <laughs> oh yeah. But you know, with but then what was that the first round, yeah. the first round, because I think I was reading the instructions on the wall, which you should never follow instructions on a, <laughs> on a stall wall. <laughs> but I feel like it said grab and hold, yeah. and oh. so the first time it started, like one came out, and another came out. I was just hold on to it, like, and I, I thought, I thought they were gonna try to pull them back, and I'm like, oh no, you gotta. I think you have to it's yank a game of it strength. until it like catches, then it goes back yes. in. 
Yeah. Mine was broke, though. One was broke because it just stayed out. And I was like, you've already been pulled. <laughs> Doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did. But we also have another winner at the table. I was thinking which he was Corey. Oh, else. that's he right. He won King of Sex. That's oh, right. I did win King of Sex. sex. Yes. That's oh, right. He did. He's talking about it. Was, uh, I do have my crown, yes. <laughs> this was actually probably one of the cooler things because you guys remember like going to those carnivals or places you go where you play the little, it's like the ping pong ball size heavy balls that you're shooting up. Like skeet ball? Kind it's of kind of like yeah. skeet ball, but it's like it's a but horse it's race. It's usually a, you're, horse. like a horse yeah. race. Yeah, and you're trying to, and the further you get, the, you know, the more, Some of us didn't know how quickly you get. Cool get. But they literally built that from scratch or, or took an existing one and totally revamped it because they had like all these sex mm. gods mm. were the wow. different characters that you were playing. Wow. It painted onto the board, and then they were the figures that were moving across there. That was really impressive. I, I, I mean, there was a, there was attention to detail paid at the sex museum. Yeah. There was even a ride. The 4D ride. <laughs> yes. All four dimensions. Again, traumatized. Three, <laughs> three out of five are out. <laughs> they created a ride that was supposed to be uh, an interpretation of attending an orgy. It was very weird. We went in I feel level. like we should have oh, been. Oh, yeah, definitely. We went in someone's butt. I feel like we should have been on like mushrooms or oh, yeah, oh. Definitely. something. I was going to say, fully enjoy that. Shrooms, sure. I, but I think that we would have refused to leave. We would have to just like, <laughs> we would have to just keep going on the ride over and over. Because he said, you may get wet. And I'm like, whatever. And then it shot out. The water shot out at us. And we're like, oh, my God. They were just yeah. laughing. And then the little thing up under our legs. Flicking your, le flicking your legs I like a tongue. I feel that. Yeah. Like oh, and then there was like things seat. in your seat that were like pushing on your booty too. Oh, yeah. It was like yeah, a vibration. Like a yeah. We were getting a butt massage. All I know is it went in someone's butthole. <laughs> That's where I drew the one. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was a, a Disney ride turned into a, like a sex experiment. Yeah. Like an orgy. Yeah. It was. It was, it was an orgy. Yeah. It yeah. was weird, like it Clockwork was... Orange, that old movie. Yeah. That's... The visuals were very trippy. It was. Yeah, they and were. That's what it Twi reminded twisted me of. bodies and weird wieners and. Lots of weird wieners. <laughs> yes. You know what? That could be some of our memoirs. <laughs> lots of yeah, lots of weird wieners. Weird wieners. <laughs> we did go to a Broadway show too. <laughs> we did. It was phenomenal. Yeah. It was so good. Yes. We saw the Statue yeah. of Liberty at night. The Statue of Liberty was incredible. So beautiful. It's freezing cold, though. But it was worth it. So worth it. She's amazingly beautiful. Went to the top of the rock. Yeah. Gosh. Stunning. Wait, Solving. what did we do this morning? We saw... Yeah. Santa? We saw Santa. We and we did. ice skated. Some did. of us oh, ice yeah. skated. And we didn't die. No, we actually all no, stayed... Well, so almost awesome. all of us stayed in our feet. I would have stayed on my feet if this lady wasn't at blocking the exit. And Did I you have to go around her? Yes, and I made oh, sure y'all weren't miss. watching. Her. Oh, man. <laughs> I had to go around two people in the first one. I thought See, I was going down. I thought I was going down because it was. I would have gone down. And I was talking to myself. I said, "Bend your knees. Don't fall back. Bend your knees. Don't fall back." And they were just laughing. Oh. No, we all have the best seats in the house. I mean, you're just watching it. There was like a peanut gallery just right outside yeah. the rink, like staring at you. Because I know, like, when I went around somebody and I, like, started to wobble, I could just, I see their faces are all like, oh, and they're just waiting to say, does he fall? Does the fat man fall? Well, and you were in, you're blue. So yes. I, oh, yes. I mean, we need to talk about those outfits. I was in my oh, blue suit. Yeah, best dressed VIP of the week. Absolutely. <laughs> the entire week. And did someone ask you today, well, is it your birth? Yes. Yeah, Yes. Kind of yes. At the at the top of the rock. I should have I should have said yes. Was Where's that my top prize? Of the rock or was yeah. it on the subway? No, no, no it was top, top, top of the rock. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, he's fabulous. He's every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> Somebody called. I said, oh, you're shining. I told me like a walking Christmas ball. We loved it. We loved it. Loved it. Loved it. I always yeah. felt underdressed though. It's not, not in a bad way. Just now. In a bad way. Just I now. Just... You now you know what you'd have to prepare yeah, for. That's right. <laughs> I gotta step up my game. We all have to step up our game. Yeah. Sorry, but I still gotta wear my tennis shoes. I was wearing tennis shoes Nobody for most. Did. of 
know if I will yeah. even try to outdress Corey. Oh no, not outdress him, <laughs> but at least come up get to, to his par. level. Get to his <laughs> I don't even think I'll get to his level. Or a th- or a th- just a theme or yeah, something like that. Yeah, we can do a theme. We can do a theme. But I don't want to all even get to his level. Oh no, we'll always be so far. Yes. Oh. Always. <laughs> no, no, no. If you look Matchy, at the photos, fo- if you look at the photos of the tea party, like we we were clearly coordinated. Like we, that yeah, was, yeah. we were the, we were the pink ladies there. of right. the tea, tea, party. tea party. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, that's how they knew I was with y'all at the sex museum because I was late coming. Yes. And they were like. Oh, are you with your group? Are you with, are you supposed to be with your group? And I was yes. like, how do you know yeah. which people? And they went, <coughs> the pink. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes. Oh, yes, it does. We were easy to find that day. Oh, yeah. And can I just say, we <coughs> looked absolutely amazing at Broadway. Yes, we did. Oh, there wow. were people in blue jeans. And I, I was know. like, oh. I know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was like, mm-hmm. I didn't think no. you could wear blue <laughs> jeans to Broadway. I think you, you can wear pretty much I think whatever. you'd probably wear, yeah, you know, probably crop tops. Now. And... Can we talk about how narrow those seats were, though? Oh. oh. <laughs> they were not curvy girl friendly. That was not curvy girl I mean, friendly for any of us. Uh-uh. You get to know your your neighbors really quickly. Yeah. I mean, hope to God they wore deodorant. Yes. At least mine was you and Stephanie. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. person beside me never clapped. Never yeah. looked at me, never did anything. He just looked straight ahead the entire time. I wonder if he liked it. Huh. I startled the girls in kind of a beginning, though. Because I saw him jump. Because <laughs> when the girls, the, when they, the singers came out, and, you know, they come out all, like, and then they're like, because, you know, we've watched it so many times now on YouTube and stuff. And I was like, Whoa! And they went. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, they didn't know what to expect. We had amazing seats, thanks to BJ. That's right. Yes. It was amazing. And talking about amazing, our place that we're staying in. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, Lizzie. Lizzie. This was a group effort of about, what, the last six months? Yeah. yeah. That we've been working yeah. on trying to get everything out of the chat and into the real life. And we've done we it made else. it happen. How'd y'all decide that, this, that you guys were going to do New York City? <laughs> I think always, Stephanie and I I've talked about it for Stephanie years. Stephanie asked me, she's like, do you want to go to New York City? And I was like, yeah. I I've always wanted if to I go can get off Christmas work. time. Yeah. And I, I put in for a vacation request and I got all three of my days approved. And it was just meant to be. So. I mean, I almost don't even want to say that, like, this is the perfect time to go because then that might just encourage more people to go. But, I like, know. like, two weeks before Christmas is, like, the perfect time yeah. to go because... There's no ma- more magical place than New York no, City. No, and there's not as many, not as many people here. I was so excited to ride the subway. <laughs> and we, and we did. That subway. Yeah, we did a lot. We did a lot. We also Ubered a lot. We did the first day when we realized it was going to be so expensive. And we're like, oh no, we got to figure the subway out. We got to figure this out. And you did a great job figuring out the subway. And- New York City's been a dream. Like, if everything that I thought it would be. Like, I haven't been disappointed in anything. Except tonight not being able to get an Uber. But that's just right. New York City. Um, but overall, it's been amazing. Okay, so. First thing that comes to your mind. Favorite moment. Oh, sh- You know I don't think you're on my feet like that. I told you that last night. That's okay. Well, it's... <clears throat> Standing in Central Park, listening mm. to that gentleman sing about oh, yeah. <gasps> that was John amazing. Was shot. <clears throat> Everyone stopped and listened, and it was just yeah. respecting oh, yeah. that moment and respecting that human being. And yeah. I thought that was really beautiful. And to me, that will be probably one of my favorite memories. Yeah, yeah. that was beautiful. Still that up. was definitely the sex museum. <laughs> was it really? <laughs> The Waker Wall. The the Waker Wall. I think the 9 11 memorial is incredible. I mean, you know, I think that's the one thing that the majority of adults can remember in their lifetime. Mm, Something that happening on American soil and just to go through Mm. there and to remember seeing all that on the news footage and seeing that in real time. And I mean, I remember. Everyone remembers where they were that day. I, yeah. mean, I was at work. I had just graduated nursing school, and I think it was my first week off orientation by myself. I mean, 
I remember exactly what was going on and just to see it and I mean just the steel and to think of these buildings made of this heavy steel and it was bent in a horseshoe shape mm -hmm. from everything it was just I mean I just got goosebumps again and then seeing shoes of this woman who walked down all these flights of stairs like 90 something not yeah 90 something flights of stairs and it wasn't until she finally was walking somewhere that someone went, you have blood on you. And her shoes were stained of her blood. And they're on display in With her museum. Blood. Mm. Yeah. It was just, I mean, it was so sad to see all these people. But I thought they had done such a great job mm. of moralizing that. So my, I think mine is tied now. And I will go back to the 9-11 Museum, not because that was the most memorable <laughs> moment for me, but even though it's very big and airy and the ceilings are tall, I was feeling super claustrophobic once I was in there. And like, mm -hmm. short of breath, I was like, I got to go, y'all. And then I wasn't uh, necessarily expecting PJ to join me, but then we had our own adventure. Yeah. We did. We became BFFs <laughs> in that moment. We hardcore bonded yeah. and just... Yeah, went off and did our own little thing. That was amazing. He was my emotional support person. <laughs> Do not pet. Do not pet. Do not pet. <laughs> I like to be a big kid and knew, I was excited that we were going to see Santa and Macy's. We got to go into our own little private room with Santa. Tingles ran from the top of my head all the way down to my toes. You so excited. Oh my you gosh. <laughs> And he looked incredible and was... It was such a... He was so engaging oh, with each and every one of us. Yes. He was fantastic. Yeah. Kudos to Macy's. They did a phenomenal job. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And we met just... some fabulous people we in did. life. We did, yeah. It was did, a great yeah. environment. No one was ugly or no. fussing or... I mean, kids that are wild because was... kids are kids. Yeah, but, but the, like, but the they weren't out of control. Yeah, yeah, no, there was, like, control. maybe one or two that were crying a little bit, but, they, like, they were, like, you know, kindergartners there with their whole class oh, and just waiting precious. and singing and so if you need a little dose of Christmas spirit go yeah. jump in line okay. to go see Santa and Macy's yeah, because Macy's, yeah. Yeah, wow it, we saw a lot y'all yeah. we saw a lot in and BJ days. kept us on I track I was just because I was married to one of my friends she was like wow yeah. you guys have a lot planned and we got it all in and we, we got it all we and more everything. and more we Everything we wanted to do. I have yeah. to say, I have wanted we to see the Statue of Liberty day. since I was oh, a yeah, little was girl. And she was everything that I needed her to be. When we were on the ferry and we made that turn and there she was, I had tears in my eyes because of what she represents. And she's mm -hmm. absolutely breathtaking and amazing. And I was so lucky to get to spend it with you guys. Oh. No, it was fabulous. Just what she represents. For us, I love it, and I love that she's she's a she. That's right. right. And it's the America it's that not, we want. It's, yes. not, it's the America that we she want. She represents the America it's that we want. It's not the history. It's, it's the, the her story. story. I love you guys, and thank you for making this trip so great. And uh, since Kendall couldn't be here, we, we got, got our story. <laughs> yes. and, um, it just couldn't have been better. I've loved it. This has been yeah. an amazing. I hope it's not our last. It won't no, be. I mean, no I way. So much. Thank you for letting me come. Oh, yeah. And thanks yeah. for inviting me. Yeah. And Lifetime members here. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I feel like Lifetime. this should be like a yearly little trip.